Welcome to EPG Paatshala. My name is Dr. Neeraj Agarwal and I am Assistant Professor in University Institute of Hotel and Tourism Management of Punjab University, Chandigarh. I am presenting lecture on module titled Wines from New World under the paper titled Food and Beverage Service Operations and Management. After completing this module, the learners would be able to understand the difference between the old world wine producing countries and new world wine countries, features of various new world wine producing countries like United States, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, Japan, India, Chile, Argentina and Canada. Now, firstly we start with the introduction to new world wines. Many wine producing areas have emerged in the new world wine countries since 1980. The new world in the context of wine is a term used to describe wines that are either grown outside of Europe and Mediterranean or growing regions or it can also be known as the wines produced outside the traditional wine growing region of Europe. The new world are new to wine production. Most new world wines comes from the United States, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, Chile and Argentina. However, some other countries like Japan, China and India is also coming up with some fine wines. New World Wines based much of their early production on European standard but have since expanded and in some cases improved upon those ideals. In this module, we will examine wines from the New World countries, their grape varieties used along with the major wine growing regions and also differentiate between the older world wine with the New World wine. Now, we will be discussing the old world wine versus new world wine. The old wine countries are from European countries and the new world wine countries are basically non-European wine producing countries. The wine making techniques are customary based on tradition rather than science in the case of old one wild countries but in new world wine countries they are making or using techniques are modern and science based. They are labeled by regions, labeled by grape variety, wines with subtle character and charm, intense fruit flavors. They have more wine laws, they are more rigid but in the case of new world wine they are more flexible. In the case of old one wine countries they are aged for a long time but in the case of new world wine the, country, uh, the wines are young. Generally they come up with a coke but in the case of new world wine they come up with the cap screws. For examples are France, Spain, Germany, Italy, Portugal, Australia, England, Greece, Croatia, Hungary and the new world wine countries are South Africa, United States, New Zealand, Brazil, Japan, China, India and many more. Now we are discussing the wines from USA. USA is the fourth largest producer of wine in the world and it's now the leading wine consumer market. There are almost 1500 wineries in United States but the production is concentrated in four states that is California it's account for 90 percent and the another one is Washington state, Oregon and New York state. Washington state is the second largest wine producer in the country whereas in Oregon wine industry has recently realized its potential for fine wines and has earned a reputation in producing quality wine from Pinot Noir. The state of New York is the third largest wine producer in the country including both vinifera or hybrid varieties. California is the home of North American wines and have cooler areas where the temperature often regulated by sea mist coming in from the Pacific side which produces the best wines. Sites, situation, soil and climate in California is 
very well suited for wine production. Napa and Sonoma are the best known regions and they produce the finest wines in America. Now we'll discuss the wine regions of California. Sonoma country, it is the diverse wine producing region due to the rolling hills, coastal mountains and rugged Pacific coastline. This country includes the very cool Sonoma coastline, the Russian river valley and the slightly more temperate Alexander Valley. This region produces world-class Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Mullot and Cabernet Sauvignon. Then we have Napa County, one of the California's top wine region. It is only 30 miles long and a few miles wide. This valley is revered, revered for its grape Cabernet Sauvignon. The third is Manadico County, situated in the northern most area and the rugged mountains near the coast. Another one is Santa Barbara County. Because of its consistently mild climate, the Santa Barbara region is affectionately called the Riviera of California's central coastline. Here, a narrow coastal corridor forms the Santa Maria Valley which is one of the California's few east-west valleys opening to the Pacific Ocean. The morning and afternoon fog that rushes through this corridor cools the Santa Maria Valley which helps in nurturing Chardonnay and Pinot Noir grapes. Basically, two qualities of wines are made in United States, table wines and premium wine. Blush wines is an American invention is a pale pinky blue wine made from black grapes. The skins are only in contact with the must for an hour or two during fermentation. Now we discuss the grape varieties. Some of the major grape varieties produced in the United States are as follows. We have red grapes like Zinfandel, Cabernet Sauvignon, but on the other side, we have white grape like Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc, Riesling, Pinot Gris, Trauga Semillon, and then Mallot on the black side, Sirah Muller. So they are the various grapes we are producing in United States. Now they have their own wine laws. In 1980, an Appalachian American Viticulture Area approved viticulture area is formed. However, in contrast to the European system, any such geographic designation is not linked to constraint on grapes variety, yield or production techniques, nor is there any system of grading wines by tasting. Features of AVS are as follows. Varietal wines must use a minimum of 75% of grape named on the label. Within a geographical source is indicated at least 75% of the wine must come from there. Wines from a specific vintage of from a nominated particular estate must have at least 95% of that wine in the bottle. Now we are going to discuss a wines from Australia. The wine were introduced to Australia by an English naval captain Arthur Phillips in 1788. Between 1820 and 1850 viticulture become a significant agricultural activity in southeastern Australia, the region surrounding the developing townships of Sydney, Melbourne and Adelaide. Throughout the 19th century, there were many private initiatives to import grape varieties from the old world as immigrants, explorers and farmers arrived from Europe with a very few cutting of Vitis vinifera from producing high alcoholic, heavy fortified and syrupy wines. Australia has developed production of good varietal wines. These wines are still reasonably high in alcohol with strong characteristic grape flavors and intense fruit. Like many Californian wines, they are ready for drinking earlier than some of the better known European wines made from the same grape varieties. The red wines have less astringent tannins than their European counterparts and the modern cool fermentation techniques coupled with 
enlightened blending have produced high quality table wines at competitive prices. Both wine is also very popular in many Australian households along with the table wines. European migration after the World War II also bring the habit of consumption of table wines in Australia. Today, wine is successfully made in Victoria, Great Western, Yara Valley, Geelong, Milawa, Rutherglen, Goulburn Valley, and in Southern Australia is Clare Valley, Murray River Valley, Barossa Valley, Kukunawara, McLaren Valley, Longhorns Greek, Southern Wales, and around Adelaide. And in the case of Western Australia is Mount Barker, Margaret River, Coastal Plain, and Swan River Valley. Queensland having a granite belt and Roma, New South Wales having an upper and lower Hunter Valley, Mudgee, the Murrum Bridge, Irrigation Area, and Kawara. Tasmania, Piper's Brook, and Los Entrance Chan. Now, we will discuss to understand the Australian wine label. Australian wine label in 1990, a label integrity program aimed at controlling claims on label information came into legislation. Most Australian wines indicate the name of the grape variety, although many producers also state the brand names or estate names to the most prestigious wines such as Penfolds Grange. Blended wines, a large and very successful part of industry, must list the grape varieties used in descending order of importance. For example, Eldridge Estate having a Samilion Chardonnay will have a higher proportion of Samilion than Chardonnay. 80% of the wine bottled must be of the grape and region indicated. If the label shows a vintage year, the bottle must contain at least 95% of that year's wine. Australian's wine labels are very informative, detailing product description which might include when appropriate terms such as oak matured and late harvest, bin numbers and vat numbers are also often used to distinguish different styles or class of wine. Many wines are marketed under their grape name but they do not match the same quality as comparison to European counterparts. However, some grapes have a good resemblance. Now about their grape varieties, over 60 grape varieties are cultivated, some for experimental purposes but all originate from the classic European family which is Vinifera. It is Chardonnay White, Shiraz Red and Cabernet Sauvignon Red remains the main grape whereas the other principal grape varieties are as Chardonnay which is white and Cabernet Sauvignon a red grape, Rhine, Riesling, Shiraz, Hermitage, Semillon, Pinot Noir, Sauvignon Blanc, Mallot, Gouache Kremer, Malbec, Colombard, Cabernet Franc, Marcin Petit Waddard, Muscat, these are the principal grapes are being used. Now we are going to discuss the wine laws. Australia, although now we are near as strict as the French AOC, Australian wine regulations are enforced by the Australian Wine and Brandy Corporation and includes the following. When using a state, zone, region or sub-region on a label, 85% of the wine must be from the stated place. If a grape variety is stated on the label, 85% of the wine must consist of that grape. If a vintage is stated on the label, 85% of the wine must come from that vintage. When blending grapes, if two or three grapes make up at least 85% of the wine. Each of the grapes that make up 20% or more of the wine must be. If four or five grape varieties are used and each makes up at least 5% of the wine, each of these grapes must be stated. 
Additionally, the grapes must be stated in the order of importance, such as Cabernet Merlot when the wine contains more Cabernet Sauvignon than Merlot. Now, we are going to discuss wines from South Africa. South Africa, a country of about 44 million people, produces about 3.5% of the world's wine and is the world's seventh largest producer. Most of the vineyards in South Africa are located with 100 miles of Cape Town, the major port city and located at the southernmost tip of the nation. The Cape has some of the best vineyards, land and soil, climate and seasons suited to maturing grapes. 50% of the must was distilled in South Africa to make brandy. However, nation's export strategy has been to move out of the market for bulk brandy and fortified wines into that of high quality vinifera wines. South African wines history has witnessed a series of problems and obstacles since its very inception till date. Problems faced by the South African wines industry in the recent past have been the long wait for 15 years imposed by the government that delayed availability of new wines to the farmers, a local population whose consumption of wine is only 9 litres per year and the climate that alternates between too warm and too cool, thereby producing either overripe grapes or underripe fruits. The most critical problem, which will take a few more years to be rectified, the South Africans social and political policies had resulted in sections, sanctions and resistance to almost all products of the country, including wine industry. After the failure of the apartheid policy, South Africa was isolated from international community and its wine industry was kept out of touch with the latest wine production method and contemporary viticulture trends. The current issues faced by the industry is huge quantities of grapes being produced, thereby giving the quality of the yield a second-class status. Secondly, is the failure of the proprietary grape of the country, Pinotage, in the international market. The wines made of these grapes are muddy, cooked, too earthy, and bit flat. Now, the grape varieties are most of the wines are sold as varietals. Red wines production is in full bodied style. White grape and the different red grapes is being produced that is Cape Rieslings, Cabernet Franc, Chardonnay, Cabernet Sauvignon, Chenin Blanc or Steen, Sinsault, Hermitage, Muscat the Alexander, Mallot, Sauvignon Blanc, Pinotage, Palomino and Pinot Noir. Now, we discuss about their wine laws. Wine law system was established in 1973 called South African Wines of Origin, that is WO, with appellations applied to regions, districts and wards to increase specificity. It is a highly organized control system. The law specifies the following. The label must specify the area of wine's origin, must have name of the producer, can have vintage date if 75% of the wine is from that year. A varietal wine must have 75% of the grape variety after which it is named. The wines are produced by small cooperatives and are sold to the main producing company of which the biggest and most important is KWV that is cooperative Winch Bowers, Virgin Ing. All growers must belong to this association. Now, the wine producing regions. The one is the coastal regions, which is Stellenbosch, known as Napa Valley of Cap. It is one of the most important region in the Cape. The main producers of this regions are Stellenbosch Farmers, Wineries, Burke, Gladder, and Gilbays. Another one is Constantia, this is home to the oldest vineyards of the Cape. It is also the home of the 
first and most famous vineyard lands in South Africa, Groot Constantia. This region makes light reds and whites but is famous for desert wines made from musket. Another region is Dubonville, a very small region. However, some of the vineyard locations are believed to be the best. Some of the main producers are Parker family, famous for nations only Barbera and Gu Grestremer. Another reason is Pal, is famous as the home of KWV, is also famous for sherry made by the Sulera system. This region also manufactures sweet fortified wines in the style of port. Another region is Swatland. Viticulture is confined to southern section of Swatland. Famous varietals are Chenin Blanc and Sauvignon Blanc. Another region is Tolberg, famous for Cap Classic Brut from Pinot Noir. Overberg, a famous producers, producers are Walker Bay and Elgin. Then they have inland regions in which they have Clint Caro, known for Porto style fortified wines. Now we are going to discuss the wines from Chile. Chile has an ideal geography, geology and climate to produce wines that are both distinctive and outstanding. As its natural borders are protected by the Andes in the west and the Pacific Ocean in the east with a coastal range of hills running north to south between the plain and the ocean, the wine eating loves phylloxera has not found its way to Chile, meaning that the older wines remain healthy and ungrafted. Grape growing arrived with the Spanish consequators in the 1500s. The early grapes were very likely the paws or mission grapes from Spain or the Canary Islands. Today, Chile is one of the highest, highly export focused market today. A further winemaking advances occurred in the early 1980s with the introduction of stainless steel fermentation tanks and the use of oak barrels for aging. Chile has many unique wine regions with distinct terroir. From the Atacama Desert in the north to Bocoma in the south, each region has its own unique personality and grapes that thrive. The Casablanca Valley by the coast is cool and foggy, perfect for Pinot Noir and Sauvignon Blanc. Maipo and Clechago in central Chile have hotter days, so also suited to big hearty reds such as Cabernet and Caramnon Muli to the south of Maipo also grows Cabernet and Carignan. The Dio, that is Demonation, the origin, designation has existed her only since 2002. Five regions have been recognized, divided into sub-regions that corresponds to particular valleys. The notion of named places of origin as an index of wine style is still emerging as most of the Chilean wines are produced as blends of different sub-regions. Now, we are going to discuss about Argentina wines. Argentina is the world's fifth largest producer of wine and it exports its delicious wines to countries all over the world, keeping enough in the country itself to satisfy its local wine lovers. Argentina has cleverly conserved the rains and snow of the Andes mountains which later can be distributed through a system of irrigation to keep the wines and other crops healthy. Mendoza is the best and largest producing region accounting for up to 70% of the national output. The other centers of wine production are San Juan, Rio Negra, La Rioza, Catamara and Salta. Malbec is the country's most recognized grape variety. The country also offers a mixture of reds in the way of Bernardo, Siraha, Cabernet Sauvignon and Pinot Noir amongst other. When it comes to whites, Argentina is renowned for its aromatic Toronto's white which has also gained recognition for its Chardonnays and Sauvignon Blancs. As per 
the Argentina's wine regulation, wines displaying a varietal on the label must contain 80% of that varietal. Now, Canadian wines. Although wines production in Canada dates back to the middle of the 19th century and now has developed a serious industry after the introduction of vinifera wines varietals. The other great influence was the success of the ice wines which were originally and still are produced from hybrid, Weidel and later also from the Riesling, whereas Chardonnay and Merlot are also produces quality wines here. The four provinces which produces wines in Canada are Ontario, British Columbia, Nova Scotia and Quebec with Ontario and British Columbia being the far most important. A federal appellation control system has been introduced called the Winters Quality Alliance VQA which both Ontario and British Columbia have joined. There are controlled appellations that is VAS and all wines bearing the VQA seal must have been passed by both an analysis and a tasting panel. Wines displaying a designated VA must contain 85% grape from that area. Wines displaying a varietal on the label must contain 85% of that varied varietal with the other 15% coming from their respective provinces. Now, the wines from New Zealand. Wines are introduced in New Zealand in 1819. European migrated to New Zealand pioneered the wine industry. Purity, vibrancy and intensity makes the New Zealand wines differs from other wines. The long ripening period due to the cooler climate develops flavor while retaining fresh acidity, a balance for which New Zealand wines are known for. New Zealand are spread throughout with the major wine growing regions with the majority on the east coast of the island. Chardonnay is the most widely planted varietal in New Zealand followed by Sauvignon Blanc and Muller Tharuga along with Riesling, Chenin Blanc, Semillon and Guevers Kramers among the reds Cabinet Sauvignon produces the best wines often blended with some Merlot. Major wine producing regions of New Zealand are Hawke's Bay, Marlborough, Canterbury, Central Otago and Cloudy Bay. New Zealand producers have used French and German names to identify their style of wines for many years. The most popular modern approach is to list the name of the grape variety. A registration system established in 1994 delimits growing areas by setting out the borders of recognized regions, sub-regions and even of individual estates. But wines detailing their region of origin tends to be exported. A regional name may be featured on the label if 100% of the wine originates from there with the grapes both grown and processed locally. Now, the wines from Brazil. Brazil, a native to North America, has got a hot, damp climate which tends to suit the Isabel better than it the European classic Vitis vinifera. Modern technological development and expertise has resulted in the cultivation of the classic grapes like Mallot, Cabernet Sauvignon, Pinot Noir for Reds and Riesling, Sauvignon Blanc, Semillon and Terribiano for Whites. Most styles of wine are made but the sparkling is the best of all made either traditionally or by the seal tank method. The two main centers of production are Rio Grande the Sul and Sao Paulo. Now the wines from Japan and China. Japan which is prone to monsoons and typhoon does not have a climate conducive to wine cultivation. Yet the country produces some good and red wines, red white wines for instance those sold under the Chateau Lumere label and good sweet wine from Chateau Lyon. 
The main grapes used are Labrusca, Delawara, Campbell's Early, and Indiges Cashew. Some European wine like Cabernet Sauvignon, Mallot, Chardonnay, and Semillon are also cultivated. The principal wine districts are Honshu, Kwashu, and Hokkaido, which has favorable microclimate for vinaigrettevation. Whereas in China, there are six wine producing regions. Kiangshu to the north of Shanghai, Hebei northwest of Peking, Liaoning in Manchuria, Sheris near Xi'an on the Yellow River, Xinjiang and Shantung Peninsula. Some indigenous grapes used in China are Dragon's Eye, Cow's Nipple, Cock's Heart and Buichen as well as Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Pinot Noir, Gamay, Riesling and Muscat. Now we are discussing a wines from India. India has been making wines from many centuries, but most Indians prefers hard drink, that is whiskey and rum, to wines. But due to their recent westernization of urban middle and upper classes, has changed the perception of wine in India. A new market has grown dramatically here for wine within more than 40 states. The state of Maharashtra in country's leading wine region followed by Karnataka and other. Many of the leading wine producers of the country including Sula Vinayards located in the Nasik of Maharashtra where the grapes are grown at high altitude on the slopes of Shahadri Mountains. Sauvignon Blanc, Cabernet Sauvignon and Sirha are the most popular grape varieties including Isabella also known as Bangalore Blue and Muscat Hamburg also known as Gulabi. Now I would summarize the whole module. New World Wines are the wines which are grown outside the European region like wines from USA, Australia, Argentina, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, Brazil, China, Japan, India, Chile and many more. These wines are generally fresh wines ready for sale as compared to aged wines from old, old world countries like France, Germany, Italy, Portugal, Spain and Austria. New world wine producing countries has come with finest wines and are experimental as comparison to old world in terms of wine production. In the space of three decades, the North American continent has emerged from relative obscurity as wine producing nation to a position of prominence as a major producer of quality wines. California is the home of North American wines. America produces more types of grapes and produces more varieties of wines than any other country. Napa country, county and Samona county are one of the famous wine producing regions here. Australia, like the United States, follows the new world traditions of categorizing their finer wines by grapes variety. Australia has more than 60 designated wine regions across the country and has developed a worldwide reputation for its award-winning wines like Penfolds. Australian wines are normally a blend of two or more grape varieties. South Africa produces about 3.5% of the world's wines and is the world's seventh largest producer and 15th largest exporter. All the vineyards of South Africa are located with 100 miles of Cape Town, the major port city and located at the southernmost tip of the nation. It is one of the most beautiful wine region in the world. The Cape has some of the best vineyard lands, soil, climate and season suited to maturing grapes. 50% of the must was distilled in South Africa to make brandy. Chile is one of the top 10 wine producing countries of the world. For the most part, Chile grows the same varietal as the United States. The long ripening period, a result of cool temperatures allows flavor development whilst retaining fresh acidity, a balance for which 
न्यूजीलैंड वाइन्स आर रिनाउ अर्जेंटाइना इज द वर्ल्ड फिफ्थ लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ वाइन एंड इज एक्सपोर्ट इज डिलीशियस वाइन्स टू कंट्रीज ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड कीपिंग इनफ इन द कंट्री इट सेल्फ टू सेटिस्फाई इट्स लोकल वाइन लवर्स विद मालबक एज अ रिकोगनाइज ग्रेप हिल कैनेडा इज ऑल्सो कमिंग अप विद ग्रेट वाइन्स बट द क्रेडिट गोज टू द आइस वाइन्स विच वर ओरिजिनली एंड आर स्टिल प्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम हाइब्रिड विडाल एंड लेटर ऑल्सो फ्रॉम द रिजलिंग वेयर एज चार्डोनी एंड मल्लॉट आर ऑल्सो प्रोड्यूस क्वालिटी वाइन्स हेयर मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजिकल डेवलपमेंट एंड एक्सपर्टाइज हैज रिजल्टेड इन द कल्टिवेशन ऑफ द क्लासिक ग्रेप्स इन ब्राजील इंडिया हैज ऑल्सो मार्क्स इट्स प्रेजेंट इन ग्लोबल वाइन इंडस्ट्री बाय प्रोड्यूसिंग सम फेमस वाइन्स जापान विच इज प्रून टू मानसूनस एंड टाइफूंस does not have a climate conducive to wine cultivation yet the country produces some good and red white wines for instance those sold under the chateau luminaire label and good sweet wines from chateau lion china is also produces wines in its six wine producing regions in india there is an increase in the market who has a passion for wine shaidri hills in nasik maharashtra is credited for some excellent wines with the concentration of major vineyards here new world wines are young and fresh and obtained a specific place among the world thank you and have a nice day